Hey, troops. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get my shirt off of that. <clears throat> this is going to be... Oh, let's stop Pisces. And it's going to be the first half of March. I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's good. All right. March, Pisces, first half of March, 2020. <clears throat> Health. Growth popped out, but I didn't... It, just hold on. <clears throat> Pisces, Pisces. So basically, right, with health, it's, these are lesson cards, right? So you're either taking care of your health or you're not. This isn't like, hey, I'm stressed out. This is, what are you putting into your body? You know, if you're a girl, I'm going to cut you a little slack. If you're, you know, you're on your monthly cycle, I get it. But you still got to stay on top of it. You know, are you eating enough, drinking enough? Are you having enough water? Are you overdoing it with snacks? Are you overeating? That type of stuff. Pisces, March. First half of March, 2020. <clears throat> so stay on top of that. Stay on top of that. Honor. Honor your body. That's way too many. This would be an obvious. I know I'm overeating. I'm not eating enough. I know I'm not drinking enough water. I know I'm chugging way too much beer, drinking way too much liquor. It's, it's that, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and if you've been sick, the flu, whatever it may be, are you getting enough rest? Are you taking your vitamins? You know, that type of stuff. One more for Pisces, please. Okay. You got grief and you got love, okay? So commit to seeing the love, the good in things. Grief, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So these are your lessons. You can sit with this or you can forgive yourself. Understand, you know, that chance you kind of lost an opportunity here or something. This is like my embodied soul. I'm going to be surprised if the Empress doesn't come out when you read. Let me see what that's referencing. You know, grief, it, it's experienced all different ways. You right? have lost something or an opportunity, and it's like, ugh, you know, like, ouch. Um... But you can either sit in the sorrow or that's way too many or like own it. You know what I mean? Like don't please don't sit in that way too many. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, do they have a lot to say to you guys? And let me tell you, the nine of pence keeps popping out. So confidence is gonna be a big thing with you guys, apparently. Ten of Wands. Alright, so so it's more it's more pressure. Putting the weight down, letting somebody help you, you know, so that makes more sense to me. Cause I really wasn't sure what it, what it was, but to you, it's, it's like a loss, right? But it's not, or you're being stubborn, you want to do it yourself, you know, it's that type of energy where it's kind of like, hey, you know, there's always someone around to, to help with certain situations too, okay? Um, so <clears throat> let's see my little Pisces, 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 first half of March 2020, please, what is going on? Actually, I 
cut it at free yourself and then the wedding card came into play unrequited love so there's definitely something going down here oh Pisces first half second whoa 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 way too many it just I think get every card in the deck just wants to pop out for you oh my goodness come on just one or two please Pisces 2020, first half of March. Pisces, 2020, first half of March, please. Pisces, Pisces, way too many. Pisces. Reconciliation. Engagement. Way too many. One more. Okay. I don't like that. I've been reading these cards for a very long time. That's no good. That's deception. But somebody wants something back, okay? engagement to me most of you'd be like yeah i'm getting engaged i'm having a wedding no not not in quotes board okay there is a situation that can escalate pretty quick but there's something to do with deception here there's something that's not that's not good this could actually you know you could be stressed out you know love yeah could escalate quick you might have grief because of whatever this is it's ironic that it came out that way, and I actually placed it that way. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody from your past is rolling back around. All right, so <clears throat> Pisces. First half of March 2020, please. So take care of yourself, less stress, eat better. You know, there's love in the air. Accept it. So you got the four of wands and the six of swords. So something definitely went down within the household. I don't know if you left a household. This is an engagement card too, okay? Um, but it's like learning a lesson. You've learned something here. So to me, it's... It's kind of like you, you're figuring it out, right? You're probably figuring out what this guilt is and understanding. There's a good chance you lost something or an opportunity. It, it could just be, or this is how you feel right now, or vice versa if you're cross-watching. But, so something went down. But you you, under, you understand that, like, you know? And got the wheel so something something with cycles something ended I can tell I can feel it I can see it this is lesson card lesson card these are lessons justice and mind you almost all these half of them are reversed but I'm gonna get two more and then when I clarify I'm not reading the reversals right this second because I'm trying to see the bigger picture here. You could be dealing with a Libra. Damn. Holy cannoli. That's a whole lot of major karma. This is there's a this karma right here. But there's still something unknown. I don't even see reflection anywhere else on the board. So I don't know if it's something you stepped out of. It could be dealing with a Virgo, but more or less, this is you wanting something true, pure. You go after what you desire, what your soul, soul aches for. You know, you don't, you climb up the mountain until you figure it out. Like, life will never be the same after you come out of hermit mode. It shouldn't. And it makes a lot of sense because you got a lesson here. To me, you're fully aware of it, or my Pisces are about to be fully aware of it. But there's still something going on behind the scenes that you're very unaware of. 
So, let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Tell me about the four of wands. You got the lovers. Yeah, see, somebody walked away from something or you had to walk away. There's definitely a competition. There was something here. A choice needed to be made. Looks like someone made it. There's still drama, though. Tell me about the six of swords. Ten of wands. And that makes sense. So something happened within a marriage or something. Here's that past. Makes a lot of sense. Ten of coin. I mean, ten of swords. <clears throat> Wasn't an easy decision. Someone could have left home. A lover could have left home to, to have a reconciliation or to be with someone else. Tell me about the wheel. Let me flip. Let me turn that around. Tell me about the wheel. Whatever went down had to have went down quite a few times in the past, too, because the wheels here were justice. It's not the first time you've repeated a cycle. So now you got the three of wands with the eight of cups. So the eight of cups really wants to come away, you know? So it's, it's like whatever situation you're in or you're about to go, go what's about to go down, it is, you're definitely walking away. Why? Because, you know, your future is elsewhere. You're about to have clarity, and if you don't, you will within those two weeks, especially with the hermit. You have the sun underneath here, hermit, retrospect, going within, figuring it out, shining the light on something. So it looks like somebody walked away from someone, vice versa, or they're about to tell me about justice. You could be dealing with a Libra, or you could just, you know, <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Libra, there's Gemini. way too many tell me about justice you got the world the thing is it wanted to come out reverse so that means it's like that's what I'm saying it's like not this iffy you're you're that the cycle's over this like the cycle definitely needs to end there's no question there's a karmic cycle and going on way too long my Pisces are walking away or, or vice versa your future is elsewhere. You're clearly aware of that. I just think you're more or less like, where do I go? Hermit, please. Whoa, that's a whole lot. Got the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Swords. <clears throat> so yeah, going within, wanting fulfillment. I don't see the two yet because the two always, when the eight's out, when the two comes out, it always walks to the ten. So it looks like you're in a karmic relationship. For some of you, others of you, you're walking towards someone, something else. You're definitely thinking, you know, this, you know, somebody else... The eight always walks to the ten, right? Even the eight cups are full, that's great, but it's not fulfillment. Here's your fulfillment. So it's like you know you have to walk away. So in the first half of March, you, you're walking away from the situation and going elsewhere. you got to rest. you got to go within. It, it's going down. There's too much karma. There's too much major arcana. Tell me about the moon. So someone's definitely walking away and going towards their ten of cups. The thing is, I think they're going, you know, and having enough strength to do it, to go towards the unknown with the wheel here again, the six of wands. So someone's going to have spiritual victory. So this, you know, it, it looks, it looks good. With the six of cups that came out in reconciliation, there's a good chance, you know, this person is walking towards someone 
only because of you know the the greater purpose here is love i'm not surprised that the hermit came out they soul search right and if they're not if you're not going towards someone else you just know your fulfillment no longer is where it resides so you're having the strength to, to move forward but it looks like something's going to be victorious here and i say you're walking towards someone else only because this is never good right and the love is here so <clears throat> I was just about to say best advice. Okay. Success came out. So you actually have that twice. Get off your butt. So I'm giving you the best advice. So that means right now someone's being lazy. Taking their time, putzing. So stop putzing. I understand you're tired, but you're already you're already resting with the four swords being out. You know what I mean? So get off your butt. It's it's gonna be successful. I, I don't like that someone's sitting on the butt here, but it is what it is. Um make sure you get your rest. Something's gonna be successful, okay? I don't tell me about this lazy. Tell me about this lazy card real quick, because that's the only one that's like, huh? But it's your best advice, so I'm taking what it says and, and, and telling you what it is. So it looks to me you are getting your rest, so that's good. Okay, looks like it's gonna be successful. So when it comes to lazy, you got the four of cups and the princess of wands. So it looks to me like you're waiting to you're waiting for somebody to approach you, but. That's not how it's going to go. Not if you were in the wrong. See what I'm saying? Ha. <laughs> Sorry. If you're the one that walked away, then you got to go make an offer. Stop waiting for somebody else to do that for you. Okay? Like, come on. Don't. <laughs> Don't go there. All right? Do what it is you do. But get off your butt. It's going to be successful. Continue to get your rest. Go after love. Hang in there, okay? It's a whole lot, but it looks like it's going to get really, really positive, okay? So stop, my little Pisces. Stop waiting for this person to walk back to you. You, the one that's walking away, needs needs to be the one to go make an offer. I think you're just worried if he or she will take you back, right? Because obviously she probably offered before. You said no, vice versa. And now the opportunity is here again. Did I miss an opportunity? Well, it feels like you did, right? It feels like you did. So it's like you're doing nothing about it. But you will. You're going to take action. It's going to be successful. I don't, maybe you just need to stop doing this with your health, stressing out, doing nothing. For someone who normally goes to the gym or eats really good, right now you're kind of like, kind of a little bit of a, a brat mode kind of sorta okay for some of you clear as day all right I love you hang in there it really really does look good all right have a good one bye